Hey guys, Adam Lobo here from Adam Lobo TV and in this video, I'll be reviewing the Hisense B7100 and I'll let you guys know why you should consider getting this super affordable UHD 4K TV. So keep watching. Now before going into what exactly comes inside of the box, the size that I'll be reviewing is the 55 inch variant as this model is also available in other sizes like 43, 50 and 65 inches as well. So in the box, the first thing that you'll find is the stand for the TV where what I found cool was the fact that each stand is marked with L and R below to indicate which side of the TV that the stand needs to be inserted so good job Hisense. Then you'll find a plastic pack where in there you'll find four included screws for the TV stands. The remote control with some cool dedicated buttons for Netflix, Prime Video and YouTube as well, which is also a great feature. Then finally, there's the quick setup guide, the user manual and the warranty card. Now just before I go forward to talk about the TV, let me give you a bit of a background information on Hisense just in case this is your first time hearing about the brand. Now firstly, Hisense is a brand from China and it has been the number one brand for TV in China for 15 consecutive years and also number one in Australia and South Africa as well. Now as a brand itself, it has been very known for their sports sponsorship since 2014 till the recent 2018 World Cup in Russia and they were and actually still are the official partner of Euro 2020 which due to the current situation is not happening this year but yes, they are and will be the official partner for that as well. So yes, that's the gist of what exactly you guys need to know about the brand and from a brand's perspective, Hisense is surely rising and they can only go up from here. Now let's look at the technical specs of this Hisense TV. First, as mentioned, this particular variant is the 55-inch variant with the dimensions of 1242 by 781 by 235 mm together with the stand. And just for size comparison, the TV console that I'm using is the Besta unit from IKEA, which I'll link down below for you to get the rough idea on the amount of space that is needed when making a purchase of this TV. Now this TV screen uses an LED panel technology with a resolution of 3840 by 2160 pixels with 4000 to 1 contrast ratio. Now as for the TV spots and buttons underneath in front, there is the power button just below the Hisense logo. And all the ports are at the back towards the side where you'll find the antenna port, a service port and a headphones jack. Then there's a total of 3 HDMI ports which supports 4K up to 60 frames per second where the HDMI one is HDMI ARC which in case you guys didn't know it actually allows upstream or downstream connections which uses a single connection to work like a single remote for other devices like for example if you're planning to hook up a soundbar. Then you'll find an internet port to have a wired internet connection a 2 USB port to insert a thumb drive or external hard disk for media and finally a digital optical audio out to connect to any external amplifiers or any external speakers which uses that connection. And also at the back you'll find the standard AV port and there's also some mounting holes to hang the TV if you guys are planning to mount this with a VESA mount. Now I have to say that I love how Hisense have given a better indication on each port especially with the frame rate values to really know which is the regular especially on which is the ARC HDMI port as well. Now setting up the TV is as straightforward as it gets where once you turn on the TV for the first time you will be prompted to choose your language and also the country as well. Next the TV will prompt you to enter your Wi-Fi details to connect to the internet. After that is done, you may be prompted to have a firmware update which you can leave it to download at the background if you do not wish to wait. You will then immediately be prompted to log in to your Netflix account if you guys already have an account and you're done. Now once signed in, you can browse into your account accordingly and yes, you can also stream 4K content through Netflix as well. 
Then the same can be done for YouTube where once you press the dedicated button on the remote, you will be prompted to either sign in through your TV or through your phone. And what's cool is that you can stream from your phone using YouTube instead of using a remote which is kind of cool because it's very similar to how Google Chromecast does, which is also a neat feature. Now looking at the TV software platform, it uses Hisense own operating system which is called Vida, where this is version 3.0, which is the current latest version, where I have to say that although that this is not an Android TV, I really love the operating system of this Vida 3.0. Where to access the home screen, just hit the home button on the remote, then you'll see an interface where at the top row, it's all the recommended apps like Netflix, Prime Video and YouTube. And since this is a smart TV as mentioned earlier, you'll find lots of pre-installed apps within the operating system where my favourite apps are like the built-in browser app to browse in the internet through there. I also love the AccuWeather app which is one of the most accurate weather apps. And I'm also a huge fan of the AnyViewCast which does a screen mirroring of your phone via Wi-Fi which lets you have your phone screen on a TV which is also really nice. Then there's also built-in plaques in the TV which I don't use but it could be beneficial for some out there. Now if you want to check out the further pre-installed apps, you can check out the Apps Now area where you'll find tons of apps which is arranged by categories from lifestyle, movies, games, kids and many more. And you'll be able to choose the input selection at the home screen and the media app gallery for viewing external media. And below that, there's the last watch video on Netflix and what's trending as well. And you'll find other shortcuts like Discover, System Navigations. That includes further menu settings which you can adjust everything from the picture profile modes, sound, network, channel, accessibility, system and support which I left it all at default. Now as for the key features, first of all since this is a 4K TV, it gives you 4 times the resolution of a typical full HD TV. So if you've always been a user of a 1080p TV and making the switch right now, you will surely see the difference. And speaking of FHD, this TV also has the UHD upscaler which gives a digital upgrade that adjusts the colors and the pixel to simulate the best quality possible to almost match a resolution of UHD. But what sets this TV apart compared to other ones within this price range is the fact that this has HDR10 which allows you to play HDR content on Netflix or even on YouTube as well. And yes, while playing games even during a low light situation to make sure that the darker shadows are visible throughout the whole time and the highlights are not blown out and all in all producing a very good vibrant colors as well. And in terms of the overall frame rates and motion, this Hisense TV adopts a better slow motion rate feature when objects are moving very quickly since it does support a frame rate up to 60 frames per second where you can especially see during gameplay so you won't get those typical jittering images like some other lower priced TVs out right now. So, how's the overall experience consuming videos from a day-to-day -day basis? Well, in terms of colour accuracy, it doesn't have a wide colour gamut but overall it looks great as there is still a precision colour technology built in and watching videos on Netflix to YouTube and even playing games was perfectly fine and since there is a dedicated play and pause button or even for skipping forward and back, it made the whole experience of viewing videos for YouTube and Netflix very seamless and a very enjoyable experience. Now while you can adjust and tweak everything within the menu, as I mentioned earlier, I left everything at default when I was watching videos, but the only thing that I've changed is from HDR Day to HDR Dynamic when I was playing games just to darken the shadows in the game, especially since I was playing at night. And yes, overall it was perfectly fine when watching videos during the day, even with a brightly lit room and even night as well. Now as for audio, it has a built-in speaker with DTS sound. Now it can get quite loud but in my humble opinion, I don't think that the speakers are meant to be blast really loud. So a medium level sound for playing games or watching movies was fine. But yes, you can always choose to add an external speaker but the default speakers were fine. Especially if you have neighbours who are quite pain in the butt. That side neighbour. This side is fine. 
Now, in conclusion, this is my very first time testing out a TV from Hisense and for everything that it offers, it is a TV that I would fully recommend if you're looking for a TV that works very well out of the box, which is packed with some great features, which makes this a best bang for the buck option TV out there, especially with a super amazing price of only 1,699 ringgit. It surely gives more than what you pay for. Now I'm going live on Shopee tomorrow to give out some vouchers so don't forget to tune in at 12pm tomorrow to win yourself some vouchers and to get more information on that you can follow me on my Instagram page. In the meantime if you guys have any questions do let me know at the comment section below as I wanted to keep this video not so technical as well so let me know down below. Aside from that, thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, be sure to give this video a nice big thumbs up if you guys found this video helpful. Like, share and subscribe to Adam Lobo TV if you haven't done so. Don't forget to hit the bell icon just next to it to get notified for my future videos. My name is Adam Lobo and I'll catch you guys in my next video. I also love the AccuWeather. 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 In my humble opinion, I don't think that the speakers are meant to be blast really loud. So a medium ladam smilalam malalam malalam. I can't speak malalam all day, I'm malali. <sighs> Sad.